A family in mourning tonight after a father of three was shot and killed by a stray bullet while driving for Uber. Today, a funeral mass for 34-year-old Michael Lamonte at the church he attended while police still search for his killer. Our Cheyenne Corinne was there. Michael Almonte's pastor says that this church in North Philly is where he spent most of his time. But today, this is where his family laid him to rest, describing him as a loving father, husband, and God-fearing man. He's one of those persons that you would think that God will, 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 will protect him. But on the night of June 14th, the 34-year-old's life was cut short while working for Uber. Almonte was driving a passenger on the 3000 block of Lehigh Avenue when a stray bullet went through the back of his windshield, through his seat, and into the back of his head. It is a big concern about, uh, about violence, uh, about being shot, uh, that people that are innocent, that uh, they're they're doing their, their job. Father Garola says Almonte was an active parishioner at St. Veronica Catholic Church and sang in the choir. Today, more than 100 friends and family members gathered there, a turnout Garola says he rarely sees. The whole community is impacted by, by, this, by, 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 by this accident, by, by this murder. But those most impacted, his three young children and his wife, Patricia. She was too distraught to speak on camera, but while shaking and with tears in her eyes, she said she just wants people to know he didn't deserve this and was such a great man. I saw the way he was uh, devoted to, to his family, to his loving wife and his children, and how much he loved God. There also was an 18-year-old passenger in the car at the time of the shooting who was not injured. Philly police say the shooting stemmed from an argument happening on the sidewalk. Father Garola says this is a reminder tomorrow is never promised and to stay close to God. It's something to be really concerned about. It's almost like nobody's safe anymore. Now, police have not yet arrested the person responsible for Almonte's death, but detectives say that if you know anything, to give them a call. I'm reporting here in North Philly, Cheyenne Corrette, Fox 29 News.